theater is her calling. Shubhra Prakash discovered her love for theater in her childhood. Her love for travel exposed her to new cultures, art forms and stories. She was at ITV Gold Studio recently and spoke to me about her journey as an actor, as a playwright and as an observer of life and thus the genesis of her new play, Pontwala. The complete interview will soon be aired on ITV Gold, but for now, enjoy the excerpt. Talk about your latest play, Pontwala. What is it about? And prior to the play, you put up a digital art exhibition based on that. Run us through the journey of Fontwala from seed to execution. Okay. Uh, Fontwala actually is based on my uncle, who's one of the first artists that I knew from my family. More than that, him walking the artistic path, he ended up creating a business out of it. Oh. So not only his passion for calligraphy, his lettering skills and uh, all those things, his fascination with his language, the scripts, he ended up creating one of the first, you know, softwares which would allow for the typing of Devanagari, an mm -hmm. Indian script on the computer. So, wow. so that was a story that I felt I wanted to tell. Mm. And I wanted to know from him what he was going through, mm -hmm. what started all of this. So one thing is just kind of knowing the facts that this happened. Another thing is to kind of know the feelings and the events that all occurred, you know, and how the business then shut down and how mm. the digital revolution in India mm. shaped up, mm. you know, because this is a time of late 90s, you know, mm. when people are starting to get introduced to the computer. Soon it will be in every house. We are mm. learning how to use, get emails. Mm. So we have to type those scripts, we mm. have to type the language because not everyone speaks English mm. and things need to be available in vernacular. Mm. So to me that was a very interesting mm. subject and he uh, gave me his time mm. to sit with him and to listen to him mm. and he told me not only about his own journey but he told me about the journeys of other people mm. that came before him. We talked about the change of you know, writing to mm. typewriters, mm. to typesetting, to computers. Mm. So at one point, information became a lot. Mm. And we were like, this is a lot of information. And there came an opportunity to do a dis digital exhibition. Mm -hmm. So we took that information and we formed a program called Fontwala Stone to Mobile, What mm. Remains? Like, what is, uh, you know, what is this journey mm. from what we see in monuments? sculptures carving this script all the way down to now we see on mobile mm. and so we did that we had eight screens wow. um, and uh, it was given by the gallery we shot videos i went with him to we went to the kutub minar you know if you've been ever to mm. the kutub minar you see the iron pillar mm. the iron pillar has a pali script mm -hmm. on the iron and if you look at it certain way and we shot this right behind is you, the Persian script on the Qutub Minar. Oh. And you see these two scripts mm. there. And it's to me, it was very interesting that these are completely different backgrounds. These are completely different times. Mm. And this iron pillar is standing here with its mm. own language. Mm. And there is that mm. Persian language also. And to me, like all of those images and even the road signs having mm. not only Hindi, but also Urdu, Mm. also having you know English mm. in the road signs of Delhi all those things that research kind of had a place to mm. live in because of the exhibition mm.